Yoshko Gvardiol had not made a senior appearance when his Croatian teammates reached the World Cup final in 2018. Now in Qatar four years later, he was one of the best players at the entire World Cup. His maturity, strength and confidence allowed him to help his country reach another miraculous World Cup finish. But he has only made 100 professional starts. That hasn't stopped every top club in the world thinking about triggering his 110 million euro release clause. Players are scouted and hype is built around them by fans online, but this one seems different to others. The solid foundations of Gvardiol's play make it seem like a safe investment to trigger his eye-watering release clause, which would make him the ninth most expensive player of all time. But it was only a year and a half ago in 2021 when Gvardiol made his Bundesliga debut, which really put him in the mainstream spotlight of football fans and journalists. The first time I heard about Josko was through FIFA Ultimate Team. As someone who does not pay extremely close attention to the Bundesliga, I was unaware he had signed for RB Leipzig, becoming the most expensive Croatian teenager ever, netting Dinamo Zagreb 16 million euros, plus add-ons, for a player who had spent just shy of 10 years at the club's academy. He quickly became a part of Leipzig's starting eleven. And despite Leipzig's poor form to the start of the season under Jesse March, Gavardiol impressed throughout as he continued his fine form in the league under the new manager Tedesco. As the team's form improved, Gvardiol moved from strength to strength. He was now recognised by the footballing world as one of the greatest young talents, being spoken in the same breath as Pedri, Bellingham and Kamavinga. Not just that, but he was being compared to the best centre-backs in the world. Leipzig would reach the semi-final of the Europa League alongside a DFB Pokal final win, the first time in the club's history for both of these milestones with the DFB Pokal trophy being the first major trophy the club had ever won. His performances throughout the season ensured Gvardiol would be nominated for the 2022 Coppa Trophy, an individual trophy which highlights the best performing players under the age of 21 in world football. Gvardiol finished sixth in the voting, but being selected as one of the nominees is an outstanding achievement and a testament to the sustained excellence he achieved over the season. As the summer of 2022 came to a close, interest around the footballing world circled RB Leipzig and Jos Gvardiol. The club rejected a 90 million euro offer for the Croatian and subsequently signed him on to a new five-year contract until 2027. This was the second time a Premier League bid had come in for Gvardiol, the first being before his Leipzig move, as the then Leeds manager Marcelo Bielsa put in a 22 million euro bid for the 18-year-old centre-back. His stock would rise exponentially that year, as his performances in Qatar at the 2022 World Cup were outstanding. His elegance in carrying the ball and his delicacy in possession is a significant contrast to his physically striking build. He appears to be one of the more senior players on the pitch, and it is his composed body language that allows me to believe that he will be a success in the future. Competing against both favourites at the competition allowed Vardiol to stake his claim against the best in the world, and he still has many battles against the best to come. Next up for Leipzig and Gvardiol, is Manchester City in the knockout stages of the Champions League. Let me know how he gets on. But it may be too soon yet for the Croat. Igor Bishkan preached caution for Josko, saying, I believe maybe it's too early to go now. Take Khalidou Koulibaly. He's regarded as one of the best defenders in the world, but he's still trying to find his way in the Premier League. It's a completely different environment. He's still a little bit too young for me to be sure he's an instant success. Maybe he needs to wait a year or so to be ready. With the menacing mask, Gvardiol walks into the look of being a villain, but his play is yet to creep into the same narrative. His technical ability overshadows his physical dominance, even at 21 years old. But because of this age, it is very easy for Gvardiol to fall into the path of a villain. Expectations are sky high, and rightly so after his continued success in the Bundesliga and an outstanding World Cup. But this is where the beauty can fall by the wayside very quickly. The hero begins their villainous arc through no fault of their own. Brilliant young players are signed and the best is expected of them instantly. If this is not achieved immediately, there are fingers pointed at the player and the club for wasting money. Even though any club in the world would welcome Gvardiol with open arms, it remains to see where Gvardiol will begin the new season. But an inevitable move to the Premier League will linger for as long as his performances are up to his extremely high standards. Having stated that Liverpool is his dream club, it may not be long until the young man is playing in the biggest league in the world. From rookie to record setter, the sky really is the limit for Josko, but his humble nature and mature head will allow him to strive for the very top of the footballing pyramid. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one to find out every record broken at the World Cup in Qatar and buy me a coffee in the description.